Welcome to Thought Cops, the only podcast where every week we police the mean streets of the internet because, hey, somebody's got to do it. And then we let you be the judge, the jury, and the executioner in the court of public opinion. Coming to you live from Neo Chicago, I am Officer Kevin. And I'm Officer Grant, grateful that that intro is always so long that I can dash around and do all the important things I need to do behind I saw, the scenes. I saw the cursor flying around and I'm like, oh, oh it's boy. It's absolute like legend. Watching a bomb tick. How you doing, man? I'm doing. All right. Hey, let's give a warm welcome to a returning guest uh, who needs no introduction, but I'll introduce her anyway. That's right, everybody. We got Nico back on the show. How are you? Here, have a gun. Yay, I'm good. Don't put your finger on it. Don't point it at someone you don't intend on killing. Be responsible. That's, that's the motto of Zap. the show here. Zap. 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 How are you? I'm good. Um, I'm watching The Sopranos now. Hey, so, don't oh, forget sorry. that we I'm, do this with microphones. Yeah, How many I'm, times have internet. you been on this program? I know. I always forget. Um, <laughs> I'm Listen good. To I'm it. watching The Sopranos and I'm like on season three. So you've, got, you've gone full communist. <laughs> God, Jesus fuck Christ. no. You've gone full anarcho-communist No, but it does make me want to be, in a, be like Twitter a mobster because like you get to like, you know, kill people that fuck you over and like get to um be rich and like smoke cigars and like it, that it's pretty cool and also like it i, I like kept count I, I was paying attention because i see all the gabagool memes it took till like episode 12 of the first season for them to mention it and then like in season three spoiler alert it's like plot relevant to his trauma so are you doing like, a, a shot of gabagool every time they say it? No, I've never actually have it, had it. I kind of we, we might have it this weekend if we can find it somewhere. Um, what do you What do you find? What did you Google gabagool? Ga- yeah, literally Gabba Google gabagool gabagool near me or something. Because um, I've never Hot had gabagool it. Hot gabagool in Cap- your area. Because it's like pronounced fuck. like I think it's like the proper term is capicula, capicola, and I'm like, oh, where does yeah, that yeah, fucking yeah. come from? Gabagool. What is what kind of like linguistics happened here? New Jersey. New J- capicola. Joysy. Capicola. Gabagool. They do things a little different up there, don't they? Yeah, seriously. So, Nico, you are also a podcaster in your own right. You um, do a show with a uh, dear friend of the show, Sarantia. I do. Called Dark Side Jills. Now, for those of you <laughs> who have been living underneath of a damn rock, Nico, if you could go ahead and give us a quick pitch. Give us an elevator pitch of um, what the show is all about. Imagine two girls who, like, in, in like, grade school through high school, like, the weird Peaked. girl who reads, like, manga alone uh-huh. in the corner. Imagine, like, two of them talking about, like, cringe they see on the internet or just, like, shit talking, like, like, dumb women on TikTok. That's cool for us, but for the <laughs> listeners at home, if you could hold that a little higher up <laughs> sorry, and I swear repeat to God. all of it. Yeah. So, Zwick's going to be working overtime I'm this sorry, week. We're going to have to give sorry. him time and a half. So, okay, imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> so imagine, like, you know, like this is 2005 and there's like the weird girl who like um, is j- just dresses like shit and like reads manga alone in the corner and hisses at you. Imagine them grown up and they have a podcast. Did you do that? I didn't hiss, but I just like was ugly and read manga alone in the corner. Yeah, reading Love Hina, very normal thing to do at age twelve. Are you sure you didn't hiss at anybody? Maybe I did. Like once. Maybe yeah. like once or twice. But just they had it, it coming. I knew it. They had it coming. I mean, I was kind of mean about it. I'd be I would say, like, you're gonna be a single mom in like ten years and and then, you know, I was right. I was gonna say I you was one hundred percent right, but you know, I, I shouldn't have said that. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of uh, honesty. You yeah, know? So just imagine. Sometimes just, the truth hurts. That's kind of, it's just uh, two bitches being incredibly honest and funny. And then we talk about 90 Day Fiance a lot because it's just great television. Okay. We right. also have, um, I make Sarancha listen to music because she just, I guess, never did growing up. So I'm, <laughs> um, this previous episode, I had her listen to My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by the greatest musician that has current is currently and will ever live Kanye West. Um, uh, shut the fuck up. I will not. <laughs> shut up. That's your I, favorite? So long as not I my have... my favorite, but it's good. It's funny to say that because people do get mad. Like, okay. well, you know? 
I just said he's not. I like made a noise and you got mad. You, you know, Grant, you were triggered. Yeah, you're uh, triggered. triggered. You're so mad. I'm a, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Ooh. libtard. Ooh, libtard destroyed. Can't handle Kanye. I West see a guy genius. in a red hat. I just, I see red. <laughs> I see red. I see red. You're like a bull. <laughs> so we can find Let's, that I'm guessing over at uh, if, I, if I just had to throw a dart in the dark here and guess patreon.com slash hysterias yeah, two, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, two bucks a month we try to do it monthly sometimes it's every other month depending if we're busy what else not. because I, I do feel like the, the whole vibe the whole aesthetic like you said you're, you're watching things that are to most people just sort of detestable garbage <laughs> you, you forced no. us to watch no. You forced us to watch 90 Day Fiance. That that cracked me. Yeah, I put you, mayo in my I... hair and shaved my head because <laughs> you forced us. That's your fault. Yeah, they didn't else, force you to do that. You yeah. forced me to do it. No, what else you're... are you watching on the like there was a there was some hubbub, right? You you guys were watching um look, Big Mouth, right? I've and never watched that show. I will not watch that pedophile show. You... Speaking of cartoons, cartoons. On, on the streaming service Netflix, I know you didn't say that, but that is the correlation here. All three of us were on an episode of the loudest podcast recently, which just came out as of this recording today. Mm -hmm. We uh, discussed the cartoon uh, Chicago Party Ant. Chicago. Uh, as we are one to do in Neo Chicago, we're the resident experts on the topic. So check that out. That was a lot of fun. That came out, uh, as I said, today. today. If, you're, if you're listening on Tuesday, it's been out. You're behind. Catch yeah. up. Go check it out. It's Do a, lot, it. a lot of fun. And I feel like we added some well-needed context. I feel like their whole thing was that they watched the show and they just wanted to say, this sucks. Wait, hold on. This sucks. <laughs> and, and we were like, yeah, but this is why maybe there's something to talk about maybe you know? there's a there's, learnable there's some moment interesting here. stuff it there's some learnable like, moments it wasn't like pedophile shit like the other stuff on netflix like big mouth or cuties, cuties. i love this world <laughs> but uh you know what if you're not if you're listening to this episode right now you can go ahead and check out the video version over on our youtube channel just go to youtube.com search for thought cops we got an exciting new camera angle on this episode. Can you believe it, Grant? It's all right. We're 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 looking at a... It's not a Dutch angle, but it is an angle nonetheless. Uh, well, I feel like I'm looking there and that I'm way off. Yeah, that's I what I keep doing, too. I, I was trying... Like, I'm... Right now, I know I'm looking at the audience and I'm, I'm looking at you. I love you. You look great. And... Because um, I'm looking here and then I, like, sort of peek over and I'm like, oh, I am... Fucking the frame up. So but I can't just, help. You know, it. we're trying out some new stuff. We're in a new studio apartment, and we're you know seeing what else we can do with the space we got here. It is a studio apartment. It. I know it's not a studio no, apartment. A studio. You, gotta, you, you got a you got a beautiful. Up, don't sell yourself short. Oh, it's a loft. Oh well, it's nice. That's and there's and there's no more stairs, everyone. Well, Those, there's stairs. Well, there have to be I stairs. took an elevator up here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it, it, uh, Grant's old apartment. Uh, somewhat famously, we had to have our guests walk up five flights of stairs, it was which atrocious. You know, we sort of had to. Uh, My legs have atrophied. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, I'm skin and bone. Your your uh, your calves that you constantly get comments on from other men. Yeah, I don't have them uh, anymore. Have, have I shaved you them got off? Ca calf nerved, nerfed. Your <laughs> yeah, they nerfed you. Uh, the, you. They've turned into pencil thin. Um, God damn it, Sakurai. Yeah, the new. Don't download the new update. They nerfed Grant. Speaking of uh, nerfing. Why don't, we, nerf why don't we go ahead and uh, take out this Nerf gun and shoot people in the head with a Nerf gun that annoy us on the internet? Are you like talking about that very week? famous, very favorite segment of the show called Two Minutes of Hate, where we like to blanket punish all that annoying random crap that we see on our phones and computers every day? No, no. Was... Well, that's what we're about to do, everybody. Get ready for two minutes of hate, which you all came here for. So my two minutes of hate, if I may uh, courteously start us off, is the phrase uh, blank walked so blank could run. Blank walked so blank could run. You can fill in the blanks yourself. Tom Green, Eric Andre. I, you know, that's funny you mentioned that because that was the exact <laughs> example that I had in my head when I thought yeah. of it. But I think because when we reviewed Tom Green's movie, you said that. And that's always just been in my head. I am a hypocrite. It's true. 
uh, because I was about to rip into this because well, it's annoying. Well, because you, you used it, but you used it correctly because you said, like people say, comma. Mm. I used the uh, uh, holier-than-thou defense. You used, I used a little bit of the old irony. You used quotes inside of the quote, which is okay to do. Mockingly so, sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to describe something so that people know what you're talking about. Exactly. So if uh, for those not in the know, this is just another one of those annoying little things that people say on the internet that gets under my skin. Uh, just the phrase, and it's usually like, I don't know, just some whatever flavor. Like, imagine whatever flavor of the day bullshit we're about to talk about in this episode, and then somebody will have their funny little format joke for the whatever story, and then we'll all forget it happened until this episode comes out. And I want to say really quick too, like I feel that we can't even get ahead of the stories fast enough anymore. No, no. no. Like by the time fast. the episode comes out, it's like I, I know we've mentioned it on the show many, many times how. Since lockdown started, quarantine happened, COVID uh, took over, the cycle has rapidly increased. It's like by the end of the day, not even in like a few oh, hours. Thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like a few hours. It's I'm over it. It's yeah. like it's like the first time I see a meme of it, I'm like, okay, it's it's, it's, it's that's how it is now, and it's like it, it's exhausting. It's like we have the top st- the top story on on. This week's stories is like that feels like an entire week ago. And I was, it was we're not like three we're, days. You know what? Ago. Let's not even talk about that one today. And I'll just no, gonna, we're gonna talk about the, zo- the Zodiac. About the Zodiac general. Killer was the main character of the day on Twitter. <laughs> they found, and they found we, him or something. I, this, I he this died should, in twenty. I don't know, whatever. He died he in twenty eighteen. If no, I don't think so. Oh, if, shocking! I, I always thought he was a police or military. If this wasn't. If the internet hadn't existed, because the Zodiac Killer was like this huge phenomenon, if the yeah. internet didn't exist, if we didn't have to talk about fucking Superman is gay, if we didn't have to talk <laughs> about alert. Dave Chappelle again, we're not for fucking the touching time. that. No, we are not touching that. that. If we I didn't not, have to talk no. about all those things, this would be the biggest story of like the decade. People right. for decades were like, who's the Zodiac Killer? They made a movie about it. Who's the Zodiac Killer? He's It's a big puzzle. It's Which apparently big... he left a review of on like imdb.com. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Which is pretty funny. Hey, you gotta laugh, folks. But I digress. Blank walked so blank could run. What's a uh, Zodiac Killer? Um, the uh, hold, I got it. I got Ted it. Bundy. No, yeah, Ted Bundy walked so that, so that Gary Post could... could run because that was the guy's <laughs> name. Gary Post, I think it oh, was okay. the Zodiac Killer. Uh honestly all you all you have to do is if you're the first one to see the story break on twitter you just do a quote retweet you type in that funny phrase someone that's similar but before instant, that's it instant karm reddit karma you get reddit gold you get 20 likes on twitter you get, you get, that, you get the upvotes, unless sir. unless justin wang retweets you you might get 300 <laughs> um so yeah blank box of blank 300 and, and never any new followers yeah what why don't people that? like me i do maybe get like two and like they leave right away <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, was, I, I came here for the specific content and he let me down <laughs> but uh my punishment is i'm going to cap you uh this you know of course as they would say in sopranos you shoot somebody in the kneecaps so they can no, they can no longer walk or run that's my punishment yeah nico what's your two minutes of hate this week what's bugging you oh a lot of things bug me <laughs> but if you could narrow it down to one <sighs> succinct thing one succinct thing you didn't um, think about this all day? No, you guys didn't talk about so this on the train hate ride? In my heart. But this is the most recent thing that's been bothering me. There's this girl on TikTok that I always get recommended on my For You page. I think her name is like Allison Fern. It's this like crunchy mom who like... Crunchy? She's like, she's just some dumb hippie bitch who like has uh, some kid. That is crunchy. Yeah. Um, and she's like, t- she's like, is like, I, my, I don't wa- let my son wash his hands or wear sunscreen because it gives cancer. Oh, okay. and he's And, I, and yeah. I don't, won't let people wash their hands before touching my child unless they're, unless they're not natural. And then I won't let them touch she's my child. She's physically crunchy. Really, really quick. I, I have to interrupt because I have a horrible meme format that <laughs> again, my brain is played with this poison. Yeah. You know that, that picture of the two like must guys like shaking hands or like they're yeah, real, yeah, they're yeah. gripping hands yeah one is labeled hippies the other one's labeled conservatives in the middle it says not vaccinating your kids it, it's also there's a huge a overlap disgusting piece of shit moron it's like i swear to god there's like the, the i was reading about it there's like the wellness 
hippie shit to QAnon conspiracy shit. I don't think she's QAnon. I think she's just a dumb oh, vegan th- idiot. I think a lot of hippies are a lot more way far right leaning than yeah, because all the like give any all the, like, it used to be that way. Yeah, because all the cool I think it, ones I think it was died. always that way. No, I think. I think some hey, of the Grant, cool ones. Hey, Grant, let me interrupt. It's the two astronauts in space, they and one guy's died, got the gun. or they it like was they way. got over their like LARP. Spider-Man pointing at other Spider-Man. They got over their LARP of being disgusting, degenerate hippies. Well, no, it and- was a bunch of like white Ivy League school yeah, kids that were too. like, "Let me go to Woodstock. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna do LSD, and now I'm gonna work on Wall Street." Yeah, like They're that. Full of and shit. speaking of crunchy, Leo on the chat here actually right. gives us uh, so courteously gives us our word of the week for the episode. Thank which, you, Leo. Yeah. He's Incredible. coming s- sooner and sooner. So crunchy is an adjective used to describe persons who have adjusted or or altered their lifestyle for environmental reasons. Crunchy persons tend to be politically strongly left leaning and maybe additionally, but not exclusively categorized as vegans, vegetarians, equitarians, conservationalists, nature enthusiasts, tree huggers or hippies. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's definitely a hippie. She like the like video I found her from was like her kid like eating dirt and in, in like at a playground. And, That's healthy. And, and like and people are like, you shouldn't let him do that. It's like, no, he needs his natural immunity. Yeah, yeah. They won't let him go in the ball pit yeah. at McDonald's, but, but he she, does but get she, to eat dirt. Yeah, no, she won't let him play with plastic because there's cancer yeah. causing agents, but not microplastics. Yeah, or something like that. <coughs> and like she like people are saying like. Oh well, you know you're not vaccinated, right? She's like, I support everyone's right to choose, but stay away from my child. And I'm like, because she believes, she believes in vaccine shedding, which is bullshit. Um, what else? Um, she said she'd disown her kid if he ever tried meat. So my punishment for her is that her son ends up being just like some bodybuilder, like chicken and rice kind of guy, sure. and gets and she just like like just like explodes. Okay. Because then it's just benefiting the better, bettering society, and then she gets butt hurt, which that's really what I want is, is you know, the double, like, someone suffers, but it betters society overall. And that's how the, that's how the process works, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, I gotta break a few eggs once mm-hmm. in a while. <coughs> Excuse you. I just choked in my own spit. Bless what you. I was, what I was gonna say was, Grant, what's bothering you? Uh, what's bothering me is this, uh, long study this long boring study that i was reading today this is very dry summary oh god i don't even know what this website is somebody linked it to me or not linked it to me but i saw a link Mm -hmm. and i was going through it and these scientists uh the title of this article is the network heads the network of global corporate control that sounds boring are these the folks it's, who make the rain uh, or the weather change when they feel like it? That's yeah, this harp. is the, the harp system. Yeah, is that who we're talking about here? So this paper is from 2011, and I, I like hadn't familiarized myself with the contents of this, but sure. I feel like every week we come in here, we complain about what do we complain about? We complain about Disney. <laughs> we complain about the internet. These companies, specifically like media companies, we punch in, we punch out, we do our job. Yeah, exactly. And how these media companies, it's like you say, oh, there's like Mm -hmm. there's these monopolies or there's these oligopolies. They have full control over the media. It's only six companies. There's Viacom. There's Comcast. There's fucking Disney. There's 21st Century Fox, which is Disney. There's all these different like companies, and we we think that it's like. Oh, well, they're all in competition with each other, right? That's the great American uh, capitalist experiment is that, oh, well, you know, prices will be driven down because competition will start kicking in. Of course. These fucking scientists did look at these graphs that they're doing. I don't understand what the fuck this shit is, but this is some smart ass fucking shit. And they, they looked at like the sources of. Like, all of these different things. Here, uh, a common intuition among scholars in the media sees the global economy as being dominated by a handful of powerful transnational corporations. However, like, nobody really ever looked into the numbers of, like, different people invest their money different ways and shit like that. And, like, they have boards of directors. A lot of people have the same people on the same board of directors mm. and how it's like, it's not these like six companies that are all in competition with each other. And it's not that they're all one mega company. That's one big monopoly, but that just like 
our understanding of how these corporations influence each other and how they like uplift each other is like more fucked than we're giving it credit for. And this was in 2011. It's only gotten worse since then. Yeah, and like seriously. my entire two minutes of hate is just like, what the what the fuck? My <laughs> my whole two minutes of hate is what the fuck? They did hard numbers and hard science to look at like exactly how deep into each other's pockets all of these corporations are and their their basic analysis is that we don't know they're so like it's it's all these people that are all involved with each other that all have the same vested interest and you wonder how come some of these companies they put out a lot of the same shit how come every every media company's coming out with a fucking streaming platform how come every Every time a Pixar makes a movie, DreamWorks makes a movie. Why does this always happen? Because they're all the same people. So for those of you wondering why Bugs Life and Ants came out the same week. I actually know why. We all know why. The math is here. Look at the, the graph. The math is here. The extremely yeah. confusing graph. Yeah, I, I don't know what it means. My brain is just like It's just like it, if, if anybody gives a shit about any of this, which I know like half of some people might and half some people won't, I but would it's my it's, two minutes of hate, so fuck them. I think if, it, if you made it video game related... Then I think we'd have more people that would care. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, this is. Could you say this in gamer terms? Imagine if the world was just ran by Nintendo and Microsoft and Steam and Sony. I, I well, think, it is, though. I, <laughs> well, at least in that world. I think you're wrong for just about every reason that I can think that you're wrong. Let's run the numbers here. We'll run the numbers, but it's just one of those things where you know how, like, intuitively you're just like, man, shit's fucked. And you see things yeah. and you're like, man, this backs up the idea that shit's fucked. And then you see this like comprehensive meta analysis of like not just that shit's fucked, but exactly how shit's fucked and how it's worse than you think that it is. And it's just like, I don't even like, what do we even do? Like past a certain point, there's a lot of talking points of like, oh, we'll just break these companies up. We'll mm -hmm. break up Facebook. We'll break up Google. It's like, huh. but they're all like within the same network of like all these investors that are all, they all have their hands in each other's pockets. It's just this weird circulation of fucking garbage. And we're wondering why everything's so bad. And it's like, because there's like this hive mind mentality that just goes into just the concept of corporatism in general. Why was this brought and up in the Discord? Like, what was it, what was no, it, it wasn't in the Discord. It was like just oh, a fucking, okay, okay. I was like reading random shit online and someone was like, you'd find this interesting. And I was like, huh. Sure. So. Okay. What was your punishment though? Uh, you know when like you have like an ant hill? Yes. And you're like, I got to get rid of these ants. How do I, you know, you, you pour boiling water down the ant hill. You try and light it on fire. We do that with these people. Okay. Can in we take their money too? In Minecraft. Yeah. Okay. As long as we can take their money too. Seems reasonable. The core can be seen as an economic super entity that raises new important issues for researchers and policymakers. This shit's fucked. It's levels of fucked beyond what we understood them to be in 2011 i believe it's you. only gonna get i want to hear like a jeff goldblum monologue about this <laughs> like just like explaining how shit is fucked like with all these confusing graphs behind him well shit is fucked yeah. hmm. life uh i basically just did that but less entertaining and yeah faster. You're, yeah you, you don't have the sexy jeff goldblum voice i don't want his voice i don't want okay i want my annoying Chicago party, uncle. Eh, cooter. Gonna crack open a nice cold old style and eat a, some jardinera on my hat dag. <laughs> Speaking of hat dags, if you haven't listened to Thought Cops before each week, we investigate the internet's outrage inducing news stories, then sentence each perpetrator to a cruel, and oftentimes unusual punishment. That's the podcast. Uh, Officer Kevin here. Uh, which story should we start out with today? I want to talk about these fucking aliens. I hey, talk about hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going Hey, you can't say that. 
I didn't know you were a Demi Lovato fan, which I, now I, I will explain. I uh, didn't know that I was a just New to, just Jersey a quick, Just a quick question. Does she actually have real fans? Like, that? I swear to God, that bitch has a career because of some casting couch shit because no one listens to this bitch's music. I've heard one well, song, like, on, ax- like what on TikTok. They said it's this horrible. Week was that they think the term aliens is derogatory to extraterrestrials. Well, your voice is derogatory to my ears. Ha! She said, or they said, I really think that if there was anything out there that would want to do that to us, it would have happened by now. But I think that we have to stop calling them aliens because aliens is a derogatory term for anything. That's why I like to call them ETs. (sighs) You know. Isn't that kind of also a slur? Kind of like how saying is Pocahontas is a slur? Yeah, like you're likening them to this like <laughs> Hollywood caricature. <laughs> That's yeah, you call dumb. me an Ichi again. Yeah, One you more. Dumb call me, bitch. Why don't you go? Say it to my fucking yeah, face. Yeah, why don't you? You, you care mean, about I, derogatory terms? Oh, you when want to you give were, me a fucking Reese's pieces? You, you care about derogatory terms when you're like trying to fucking like get this like small business owner in trouble because they had sh- sugar free options because you're too much of a fat ass to like not eat sugar. Fuck you. We're so, the libertarian podcast. <laughs> we pivot. No, to, it's, to be, it's, to no, it's fair, okay to make fun to of rich fair, people. To be fair, I do feel like extraterrestrial is like the politically correct term. Oh my God. <laughs> We're laughing it's now. Like, however, it's like extraterrestrial. It'd yeah. be like saying like special needs. It's like you do the positive. It's it. You're beyond terrestrial. But alien sounds cool. Like what the fuck? Like we well, don't have thing, any. Well, we don't say we, we don't yet. call special needs people extra chromosomes, though. You know. <laughs> well, not all we, of them we have that issue. Special, true. Maybe they're not extraterrestrials. Maybe they're basic terrestrials. Uh, we exactly. need. Um, well, I think special the, location. I think the, the weird thing is that a- alien. We used to be like, oh, the things in the sky, alien, or like it's it's different to it's us. Foreign. It's weird to us. It's, it's alien. Different. And then people were like, oh, these illegal aliens. And we're like, what? You mean what? You mean like the green people in the in the outside space? No, no, they're not aliens. I remember when I was when I was a kid, the whole fiasco around the alien or Elian Gonzalez story, when everybody like the news and everything, all these, you know, everything. Can you refresh me? He came came to Cuba on like a floating piece of like something, like a piece of a I don't even know. He Wrapped basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he floated up to America and the whole thing was like, they would refer to him in the news as an alien. I remember in school, they had to teach us that alien did not just mean outer space. <laughs> creatures. It meant <laughs> right. uh, anyone from out of... But it, it felt like there was a huge push to like, okay, we're not calling immigrants aliens anymore. But now Demi Lovato is like, we shouldn't even call aliens aliens anymore. That's so fucking stupid because we haven't even encountered anyone. We're getting we're getting preemptively PC for something that is literally a non-issue. Well, the, it, so it's, far, it's so, so stupid far. to me. And also, alien sounds cool. Like, I'm sorry, it sounds cool. I for, agree. Like, it, for someone who lives in the stars, saying a, we could we're aliens to them. Star creatures. How about that? Yeah, star people. <laughs> They're not people though. Star. Th- beings yeah i think well we can go with that but sbs sbs th- there may be some bias here because uh demi lovato says that uh they actually encountered some extraterrestrials they said the alleged incident took place on a trip to joshua tree california where they remembered seeing a blue orb that was about 50 feet away and floating above the ground honey honey you know what that was that was the dmt that you were taking. No, it was an, it was a California sober. It was peyote. It was a star creature. DMT. That's just the shadow people that you see when you do a lot of hallucinogens, dumb bitch. So that's I mean, what we think is happening here. The, what I think is happening, and I I don't know because you know me. You guys know me. Maybe right? she you, know. Maybe you know. She knows like something that we don't. You know, the evil Hollywood people have already contacted aliens. Right. They do their fucking weird hollywood fucked up shit and actually have contact aliens you know maybe maybe the aliens you know maybe the aliens don't want to be called aliens and demi vlado is just the ambassador wink winking to them or something and keep in mind to the aliens we are also aliens yeah that I, too. I would not be personally speaking and i'm going to speak for everybody here but i would not be offended if 
a star creature called being alien. Yeah. That's like your perspective. You're like the white guy that's like, yeah, go ahead. Call me a cracker. Yeah. I don't care. I am a cracker, actually. <laughs> that's like the N word. But for me. Yeah, I'm owning it. Um, the, the only thing that I was uh, sort of getting to earlier, um, you guys know me or you, you seminally know me. Yeah, um, more or less. Kind of. How, how do any of us know ourselves sometimes? <laughs> I look in the mirror and I wonder. Where but are you going with this? Space. Uh, what, what I was going to say is like, you know, like I'll say some dumb shit, you know, just constantly. Mm-hmm. I say it all the time and like, Sometimes it's like I'm kidding. Sometimes I'm not kidding. Sometimes I'm sort of like partially kidding. Or you play things up or whatever. Like, what was the context of this quote? That's that's what Demi always Lovato gets me. Demi Lovato has like know. some alien catching show on Peacock. What? I always get fucking ads for it. I'm like, I don't want to see. Are the- you serious? Oh, I want to see this dumb, busted, untalented bitch's face. I did not know this. This is all a publicity stuff. Yeah, because like if if someone for Peacock, god yeah, damn it, this bitch is always in the news for, and never for like music, which is like the actual career allegedly she has. It's like. I don't I don't believe this is like some fucking fake like a fake celebrity that no one actually listens to. It's like the same thing with Selena Gomez and Camille Cabello. Who likes well, these if, bitches? If I would have read the article headline, the singer and actor who identifies as non-binary. Let me mind you. How is that relevant <laughs> as, to this? Yeah. At as all? a docu series, uh, I saw the same quote. Oh, because non-binary people to, are aliens. No, they always I do to, like oh, I'm not. They do that. That's like some people Very do. Very PC of you. No, I'm not being mean about it. <laughs> no, like they I, say it in like in a reclamative way. They're like, I am a beyond gender. I'm like an alien. I so have. Maybe I have heard that. I've, I'm just. I'm giving you shit. Being, obviously, I yeah. have never heard not, that. I no, have that's heard like that. a thing. Like I've heard it. I'm not even trying to be mean or anything. I, I believe you. I'm just saying I've never heard that. Yeah. Um, so maybe like the whole non-binary thing. It's kind of like aliens. They may. They probably don't have gender like us. Maybe they beep, have like five. Boop, beep, boop. Yeah. Maybe like they have yeah. like five different genders or something. I I don't know maybe it's like you know whatever i don't know so i guess the show that they host is called unidentified because what i was thinking when i read this was okay oh my God. interview with demi lovato at the end of an interview you throw in a fun question what would you think if aliens were here and demi lovato goes we shouldn't call them aliens that's like a very grant move to be like that we, i would agree i would think that but if they're hosting a show, and this is all just... Sh- it's just like, come yeah, on, Yeah, but Demi Lovato doesn't have a sense of humor and would actually like not but be that's good to be the, funny. I always want to give the benefit of the doubt to people that you don't fucking deserve it. You I shouldn't. don't know why. Why? why? I, I always assume I think the worst it's because people. That's how I'm, you get hurt. I'm so cynical, and I, I have such a dark sensibility of the world around me that I'm just I'm I'm scrambling. Horseshoe. I'm scrambling <laughs> for just like the tiny diamond in the rough, and it's just so much rough, and I'm just searching for it, and I see dumb shit like this every fucking week. I gotta look at it, and I'm just like, maybe they're kidding. You're welcome. Maybe by the way, it's a joke. Maybe the world isn't as bad of a place as I think that it is, and it always is. It always is. It always is. I have a punishment. Go for it. Wait, no, we're not. I, I, they actually have a little bit more to clarify <laughs> oh here. Oh, my God. So actually, really Dumb. quick, Leo actually linked a story here. Leo's doing all the... Uh, earlier this year, which Demi Lovato reveals that they had multiple strokes and brain damage after an overdose. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, I remember the overdose happening. Yeah. But I also want to touch on really quick that Ugh. folks at home, if you had to guess if there was a, the, um, the one annoying guy... Who had to weigh in on this story? If you had to guess who it was, and the name Neil deGrasse Tyson came oh, to mind immediately, no. you would be correct because no. he responded and he said, uh, "Aliens have no feelings." Which I this that's, story, pre- that's presumptuous, dude. How, would, how do you know this is going to age so poorly if we ever get invaded? <laughs> And he says, oh, when I refer to aliens, just to be specific, I always say space aliens. Say, fucking shut up, shut, dude. Dude, he sucks as much as Demi Lovato. I mean, more. At least at least Demi Lovato has a we legitimate in, injury that may have hampered her judgment to a certain degree that we're not 100% True. familiar True, with. But before Neil the- deGrasse Tyson's just a fucking idiot. Yeah, but... The smartest the- idiot... 
I'll I'll hand it to him. He's a lot smarter of an idiot than I am. Yeah. He said all the al- I don't know where this is coming from, but he told TMZ, quote, all the aliens that I've ever met have no feelings. <laughs> Oh, and this is where I'm like, he said, he said when I and he added, when I refer to aliens, just to be specific, I always say space aliens, and then what we used to call aliens on Earth, undocumented immigrants. <sighs> that's what the new term is for them, and I'm all in on that. So what that means is, if we all do that, the only implication of the word alien is for creatures from outer space that want to kill us all. That's presumptuous. That's so presumptuous. Maybe, xenophobic much? Yeah, that's like literally xenophobic. Again, this episode will air. Uh, this episode will uh, uh, age well because we're we're saying that he was Where, a bad man. My, I want to know my punishment. For saying that. I want to know my punishment. Uh, I have a good me, one. Really quick, let me see if you have <gasps> anything else to say. Uh, nothing important. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, my punishment is when we make contact with aliens. You know, there's gonna be people that want to have sex with aliens. Absolutely. Demi Lovato has to be the first one to fucking alien. Same with Neil deGrasse Tyson. It has to be get a in line. Huh? Why does she get or why do they get to go first? That's not fair. It'd be funny. A lot of us would be like begging to be first in line to fucking There's alien. people that that's already their kink. Yeah, but it'd be and funny. Some, for some people, that's their only kink. Yeah. Okay, actually, okay. We have to find out. We have to do some psychological tests to determine if they have like an alien kink. And if they do have an alien kink, we have to bar them from fucking aliens. However, if they're like, so it's only if it's unenjoyable they get to fucking alien. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Whoa, that's, that that came across really bad. But um, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't. Even, I didn't even no. consider that until you said it. But anyway, Whoa, uh, you made it seem way worse than me. I was assuming they'd be like, well, okay, I have to do my duty for mankind and fuck this alien who definitely is consent. It would be an alien that is consenting. Well, it would. Yeah. Because there's be, probably aliens that want to have sex with us. It'd be like a like a Neil Armstrong type situation. Like you go out there, you serve your country. One, one small s- nut for man. One, huge one giant n- nut for one mankind. One giant load for mankind. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of aliens... Oh, uh, actually, no, Nico. You want You had a story. Oh you, man, you that was a perfect segue. Fuck no. Let's that was a perfect. Let's pretend segue. I didn't. Let's pretend I didn't interrupt. Yeah. Speaking so- of aliens, everyone. So Grant. Superman's gay now. What? Yes. Yay! I'm boycotting whoever. No. I, whoever I can boycott. Hey, just tell me what to burn. I'll do it. This I just is love. Great. I'm, I'm I know kidding, that, by the way. I don't. Give I know a shit. that nerd culture is like more and more pervasive now than it's like been ever. Like the Marvel <laughs> universe is now movies. Like I still think that comic book fans are such a small percentage of the population that it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah especially these, American comics. Yeah. Even in America, right. like the Japanese manga sales dominate yeah right. only comics. like actual comic fans are quite rare like there's a bunch of mcu like soy people but like how yeah, many they of them just mostly just watch the movies yeah though, they, they mostly watch the movies or like the tv shows like a lot of them yeah. don't collect comics unless it's like a funko pop like special edition comic i feel like i kind of i kind of have like i i, I kind of have a little bit more respect for the people who have stuck with it for so fucking long and they don't just watch the movies and Me they too. Because like comic collecting is such a pain in the ass, and it's expensive. It's like, and it's one of those things where there's not necessarily always like a canon. You know, it's like that's I, the worst it's, part. It's like I always say, like superheroes, they're like the modern mythology. You're always but saying, I'm that. always saying that, and like the the thing I think with this is, it's just like, yeah, there's no real like canon of a lot of these stories, a lot of these characters. They go off and like they get retold a bunch of times. They go off in a bunch of weird ways. It's like alternate yeah. universes. Alternate like, universes. Sometimes they're gay, re-parted. sometimes they're straight. Exactly. They should all be gay. It's just like, like one of those things where someone makes someone makes a comic and they're just like, here, I, we couldn't do anything more with Superman. Nobody gives a shit about Superman I mean, anymore. Superman, how long has Superman been going for? Like a hundred years? Yeah. It took him this long to go you, gay? You can't keep telling the same stories with the same characters and expect people to keep buying things. So Hell naturally, yeah. you just like do whatever, like do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. As it should be. Superman, the Superman we all know and love is still straight. Clark Kent is still straight. <laughs> Superman has a kid, much like in an Invincible, if you guys have seen Invincible. No. Superman is a kid, and the kid becomes the new Superman. He's bisexual. There's okay. the story. So it's not even Superman. It's Superman's it's, kid. It's Superman. 
It's the new a Superman. Superman. He's taking the mantle up. That's how they saw it. He's taking the mantle you know. up. It's, it's, it's like, like Miles Bond. Or like Ma- Miles Morales yeah, is now the yeah, new yeah. Superman. Oh, okay. You know. I mean, Miles I, Morales is Superman. This, this picture Spider-Man. is really hot. Like, I like that picture. What's going on here? Now, like, let me pull like, this up for like, the fans yeah, at like, home. That was you like, guys unzip your pants now. Yeah, because like that picture is like, it's pretty sexy. Like we look they at look here. hot. Zoom or uh, expand yeah, the image. Yeah, range. I don't want to see those boring heteros. I want to see these homos. Like, well, I, if I expand the image, it's going to be. It's going to take you to the article we should be talking about. Oh, oh Fox News! I Fox bet they're really News. excited about that. I bet yeah, let's see. Really, I'm sure they have a good take this on this. This is like the point that I don't want to watch this fucking video. But like, this is the 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 point that I'm trying to make with this stuff is that comic book fans make up such a small percentage of like the population the only reason people care about this shit is because of like the marvel movies they're a big hit mm-hmm. everybody's into superheroes now you do one thing in one storyline for one fucking thing and it's just like it's a new uproar because everything's the culture war and everything's the war on christmas so what happened with this is they made a comic where superman son- superman's son is bisexual and now just fox news is just like this is the 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 demoralization of america they're ruining the it's just you know like, we, we should make a thought cops bingo card because <laughs> I mean, you mentioned a lot of I've other made stuff. one and i just never talked about it okay I didn't, what first i'm hearing about it yeah i i hadn't thought about it i like one day i just like wrote a bunch of stuff down on my phone we'll add this to it thought cops bingo card a slot for we complain or we discuss people complaining about a gimmick that's thrown into an american superhero comic because i remember on an earlier episode right. We talked about when Captain America became a Nazi. Remember, <laughs> so, that was in yeah. the news. Or they had the uh, non-binary. They had Jordan they had Peterson. The... <laughs> there was a character in Captain America based on Jordan Peterson. That was a Peterson. different one. That was okay. a different one. And <laughs> they, then, yeah, the, not, the Snowflake and Snowflake Safe Space. Safe Space. That yeah. was so Classic. dumb and like, actually like offensive. Yeah. That's so uh, funny. And again, my favorite genre of story on the show is the well-intended, uh, accidentally offensive <laughs> story. Those are the best kind. Can I mean, just, honestly, there's, there's, uh, like, uh, at like, least that's like good the, faith. I can always look at someone who made a genuine mistake and just laugh at it. But this this shit just feels fucking ghoulish every fucking time it happens. Somebody has to open their fucking mouth, and it doesn't fucking matter. We're destroying the planet. We're going to all die in ten years. I don't care if Superman's gay or not, but a lot of people care a lot. Yeah, I mean, personally, I think we should make like. All the superheroes gay, and they're gay already sex gay. With each other. Look at the way they dress. It'd be really <laughs> Look at cool. the way they dress. They wear skin tight, like spandex. Yeah, but we need to see like bald. leather. They're grooming their young wards. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, there yeah. was yeah, a, there the- was a Venture Brothers plot line about it. All right, I stole the joke. I'm not a bad guy here. <laughs> I'm just lazy. You're just a plagiarizer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually worse. But I don't know, like. It, that's a very nice picture. I like that picture. <laughs> so, so of all people, Dean Kane chimes in. This is this is his. I think last time we talked about him, or maybe we didn't talk about him. He said that in today's America, it would be offensive if Superman said uh, "truth, justice, and the American dream." It'd be offend. It'd be so offensive. I don't think anyone would give a shit. Nobody gives a shit the because people nobody who, cares about the, fucking Superman. Yeah, the people who give a shit are like more concerned with like the fucking confusing canon around it. Like, yeah. But, but last issue, this happened, and now they're retconning it, and then this happened. They don't give a fuck also, who Superman is having right. sex also, with. Also, like, who cares if it is like it's not supposed to be bold or brave. It's supposed to be sexy. Like, what the fuck? right? Who so, cares? So. Uh, Dean Kane says, "Oh, he's uh, new. New gay Superman is not bold or brave." Uh, he says, "They say it's a bold new direction. I say they're bandwagoning." Robin just came out as bi. Who's really shocked about that? Oh, one? that's the new right. Captain yeah. America's gay. My daughter um, in Supergirl, where I play the father, was gay. I don't think it's bold or brave to say some crazy new direction. If they had done this twenty years ago, perhaps that would be bold or brave. And there's like some truth to that where it's like that would be a 
huge ballsy thing to do like in the 20 90s? years ago. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool in the make 90s. Superman gay, that'd be the bassist. He, he I'm just imagining like Superman like he, he go, tries going cruising and like some villain like eats a bunch of like uh what's it Pluto what's he uh, uh, kryptonite kryptonite and like plutonium dude, Pluto, what I don't fucking read these nerdy ass comics <laughs> uh, I read glass cool houses com- glass I read houses. cool comics where they're actually gay but um I don't know like the guy he's going cruising and like some villain is like hey stud muffin and like <laughs> You know how they say, like, if a guy eats a lot of pineapple, his cum tastes like pineapple. What if, like, I, I, do they if, say that? Is that true? That, I wouldn't know, but I, I have been <clears throat> told that is the case. And but if you're saying that if they eat kryptonite, their cum they're is cu- going to t- be very like sweet cr- and also poisonous to Superman. And so Superman dies because. He- because he just gets a load of kryptonite. Cashew in, in the face. chat is doing one of these faces. <laughs> Is doing the thinking I face. I think I'm onto something. I don't Ma- know what we're talking DC, about. Hire anymore. me. Uh, I, have, I have a plot line for gay Gu- Superman. Ghoul Leo in the chat says, "In the '90s, the only gay person in the U.S. was Ellen, which True. they canceled her for." <laughs> yeah. So let's let's talk about canceling people uh, in, 20 years ago in the '90s for being gay. Uh, he continues his quote, "More than 20." Which this is this is sort of. One of those, like, I said the quiet part out loud and I'm unaware of how aware I am. Yeah. He says, Brave would be having him fighting for the rights of gay people in Iran where they'll throw you off a building for the offense of being gay. Whatever. Uh, They're talking about having him fight climate change and the deportation of refugees uh, and he's dating a hacktivist, whatever a hacktivist is. That term has existed for over 40 years. Uh, why don't they have him fight the injustices that created the refugees whose deportation he's protesting? <laughs> and this is on Fox so and Friends. Boring as fuck. Well, this is on Fox and Friends. Like, yeah. Um, I don't know. Ask one of the fucking hosts about what. Well, that's, like they're that's, kind of the people who that's the created thing. That. That's so fucking that's, dumb. that's the thing is he sort of said the quiet part out loud, which is just like, oh. That was our own military intervention, which is like semi woke is like, yeah, Superman's going to go to war with the CIA for overthrowing Latin American governments that Dude, created a refugee. Crisis. That would be awesome. That, that would, that would be, be incredible. Yeah, honestly, they'd never do that because like he Marvel and DC are shills of the, of the feds and the military. But Superman could do that. They could, but. You Superman know. going to war against the United States government <laughs> that would would, would really be, be cool. one of the coolest ideas for like that would be an awesome movie. That would be cool. Fuck yeah. Superman versus Batman. Fuck all that shit. Superman who stands for the uh, the idea of American exceptionalism goes the government doesn't we we don't the whole government thing it's bad. I'm going to war with them. And then that's the punishment for this. Yeah, can I add an, yeah. a, something to it? So he goes to war with the U.S. government, but like, like you know, the scenes where he's like contemplating, he just like, like sucks lots of dick on the side. Like you know, right, right, like, fine. Like you know, going to war, and then he comes back sucking dick or getting his dick sucked by an, another hot stud. Going to war against the United States gets his dick sucked. I think it'd be. Really he listens to an episode of Red Scare. He just shrugs <laughs> his shoulders. Goes, eh, I don't know. It would be, I think that would be a good that would be a good ass movie. No fucking studio would be brave enough to do that. Or bold. Or bold. That would literally be brave and bold. Like gay s- Superman fighting against It'd the, be the brave terrorism and bold. that is the United and States. And Dean military. Kane still Dean Kane wrote the movie and he'd still be like, nah, I don't think there's anything cool about being anti American. Like, shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, it's it's sub- it's actually subversive, you stupid idiot. Speaking of uh, stupid idiots, though, Nico, you had a story you uh, yes. were running us to speak uh, on. Okay, this so is this photo shoot. This uh, I let me let me grab this absolute dog. Do shit. you want to put it in? The, I, I got the article pulled up here as well, but yeah, put it's it in um, the chat. But um, true romance: Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly are Hollywood's hottest new power couple. Listen, listen, listen. Megan Fox was not good in Transformers, but she looked good. Jennifer's Body, great movie. I just saw it, and I will say 
It was a lot more entertaining than I thought. No, it it's super funny. It was great, yeah. I, f- I was like, I was because I thought she was a dumb slut when I was like 12 or well, 13. And she plays a dumb slut in the movie, which was brilliantly well, done. I am getting to it. Oh, she, I thought she was a dumb slut in Transformers. So I never saw anything else she was in because I'm like, right, oh, she's a same. dumb fucking bitch. And then, you know, I'm like, actually, she's kind of hot. And then, like, I find out, like, you know, she was kind of blacklisted because, like, Michael Bay's a piece of shit. And I'm like, yeah, you know, she got fucked over. And she was, like, not that much older than me. So I'm like, yeah, I'll give her benefit of the doubt. I watched Jennifer's Body. It's a good movie. It's funny. She's hot in it. And then she dates this fucking untalented, ugly, pop punk, fake, failed rapper turned pop punk dipshit Machine Gun Kelly. And now there's like, first name's Machine Gun? Yeah, he like or his gun, his middle his name, and his is first name is Machine. So bad, it's so bad. Like pop punk is already a terrible genre. Imagine like a yeah. rapper turning pop punk, and he's like thirty four. Like pop punk <clears throat> was good in like the early nineties, and that was it. Yeah, and that's not even when it was known for. Yes, yeah, and it's such. A, it's so. It's just like girl. Like he's so ugly, and you're so hot. Like. Let me and, and and they're and they're cringe too. Like you know those like couples from high school, like circa two thousand three. The ri- not two thousand three, but two thousand six, where it's like you know the sexually active like hot topic kids that are really pudgy and like lick each other <laughs> and paw at each other and yeah, call yeah. themselves master and kitten and shit. Yeah. It's this is like if Hollywood did like a, a Twilight s movie on those people, but of course you have to make them attractive and not obese. Well, Grant, if you want to pull up the article here, it's actually in our group chat with the picture of Sonic oh, Toilet. Okay, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's you can see uh, we can show some of these photos here from the article. And I want to read as you do that. I'm going to read the first yeah. line of the article, which is I, I find interesting. It says in the back room of a studio, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox are giving each other tattoos while I watch the lovebirds matching tattoos will read the darkest fairy tale, a phrase that Fox says alludes back to the one of their first text messages they ever sent to each other. So ugly and slimy. How awful is that? Oh, th- let me just read you some cl- cl- I'm like cringing. This is so gross. If if she wasn't hot, we'd be laughing at them for being gross. But anyway, um, I just remember this tall, blonde, ghostly creature. Yeah, he is a fucking creature. And I looked up and I was like, you smell like weed. <laughs> you smell like weed. <laughs> Say it into the microphone. So and I was saying, you smell like weed. And he looked down at me and he was like, I am weed. <sighs> This reminds me of a story that in high is school. Awful. It's so have I, bad. Have I told you all this story in high school? No, tell me. What is oh, the story? There's this kid that used to be in our high school gym class, and he was like a little bit of a weird kid. And we he was sort of like mean to us, and we were sort of mean back, but like not too mean because we were like, there's probably something wrong with him. Like we don't want to be too mean or <laughs> why anything is it like always that. gym class this always happens? I don't know. Right? Because it, they're like reminded of their lowly non Chad features in gym class. And it's it's just one of those things where it's not that just any of like, us have anything to fucking Yeah, I'm, say, I'm just but, I, I'm explaining from like personal yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like he's interacting with us and we're sort of interacting back and like th- this like we're not trying to be like mean to this guy or anything but he's like just saying shit and we're just sort of like saying shit back and it it feels bad because we're like i don't know there's there might be something wrong with him there was nothing any there was never anything wrong with him he didn't have any sort of special unique ableism based anything like that he was perfectly normal kid kind of and his his dad was a police officer, and one day we were oh, making fun of him for oh, it. Oh, I remember and we, the story. And we I, 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 you didn't tell me this, but I remember it. And we had said, uh, uh, "Hey, kid, we're gonna call we're gonna call the police on you." And he turns around and he says, "I am the police." <laughs> what a nerd! Wait, I thought. The- Oh, and the, the punchline to the story is that he was found with like terabytes of CP on his computer. Oh, duh. Yeah. That makes sense. To so, me. um, but there's and that's more. It, that's it. There's more to this. It's horrible. They they act like the overly sexual. Like I'm in my first relationship at. It, yeah, it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's so gross. But it's like the nerdy kids who are at first in a relationship. Who, by the way, they were the first to fuck. And like it was it was gross. <laughs> true, they let everyone true. know. Cause they're like, see, I can, I can fuck too. It's just not Stacy and the preps that can. We are sexually active too, and it's like the grossest shit ever. Like you know, it just smells like rotting meat. 
like they're the skinny version of this because of course we can't have well, accurate I, representation in Hollywood. I feel those like kind of couples. I feel like the the problem with Hollywood and there are very many, but one of the main problems oh. that we run into with stuff like this is that we look at like Beyonce and Jay Z, and we know that there were like some slip ups in their relationship, and someone cheated on someone. Someone made an album about cheating on someone, but they're still like the power couple, but they don't like interact, but they're the power couple. They do concerts together. They don't interact, but they're the power couple. They don't talk to each other. They don't fucking like each other, but they're the power couple. And then a couple like this comes along and they're like, we like kiss and have sex and like, we like fart around each other and it's super cute. And it's just like, I don't want to hear this. Yeah. Yeah. And this like, is not endearing to me. There's so much more. There's so much more. I, I let me find like two more things. Um, so when Fox and, and Machine Gun Kelly met for the second time, the real first, the, for the real first time, she reminded him of their first meeting. Yeah. Then while <laughs> shooting Bono. via the, uh, ah, she's so gross and she's <laughs> so hot. <laughs> uh, via his character's first line dialogue to the actress, he had something to say. He had. To, to say something fucked up to her but that's what they that but what they were both feeling didn't take words it was obvious from one second where this was going to be fox says of the relationship but we didn't hook up right away they started co- courting in the green room she was like how are you feeling he recalls and i was like i'm lost she said well <laughs> let's find you and that was the first conversation we had oh my is this God. not like like this <laughs> this literally reminds me of like this they weren't like they weren't like ugly. They were it's just this girl sucked. But I used to be friends with this girl who was dating this guy, and I'm like friends with him now. But fuck this bitch. Let me just tell you, fuck this bitch. Mm-hmm. But anyway, they 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 were like dating, and they basically post like Twilight quotes about each other. And she'd be like saying like the dumbest shit. Like the, it, it gets worse. Let me finish. Okay. They would, she would posted like this was MySpace days, so she'd be like, "I just love walking down the beach, holding hands with you." I'm like, "What fucking beach, Lake Michigan that smells like literal feces?" <laughs> like this, it, it's like the well because sewage runs into it. Yeah, liter- literally, it smells like abs- Yeah, on accident. It's just well, it is an accident, but if, it's so not for me. It's so <laughs> gross. It's so <laughs> gross. Only ugly people are supposed to act like this, and it feels wrong that these Hollywood people are like stealing the culture of big ugly fat nerds being romantic <laughs> especially him he's so he's so ugly like if he was dating someone who wasn't megan fox this would be like oh yeah this makes sense but it's just like it makes me like her less like <laughs> stop trying to make us like your ugly fucking like like borderline pedophile boyfriend because it's making us like you less it's not making you like you like him more it's never gonna happen he fucking sucks he gets booed everywhere he goes because he sucks and he deserves it Grant, the implication was that I poop into the <laughs> into the lake. Not for me. <laughs> I didn't even think of <laughs> what else. There's so what's, like a... what's the punishment? No, here? there's one more thing. There's one more thing I gotta say. Um, <laughs> Not for it, me. Th- it, no. <laughs> It felt like five minutes, so it, it didn't even feel like it. No, it didn't even. It, it felt like, it felt like five minutes, so it didn't even feel like three hours. He responds, even our first kiss, she wouldn't kiss me. We just put our lips right in front of each other and breathe into each other's breath, and then she just left. That is, that's not what happened. I promise you, that didn't happen. Uh, Stop trying to seem deep. This is absolutely fucking how long, disgusting. How long do you give them? How long do you think the relationship's gonna last? I don't know. I hope it like blows up like an Angelina Jolie, B- Billy Bob Thornton thing, like. Give it a I'm year. thinking this has a, a year. That seems awfully this generous. This has a Pete Davidson, Ariana Grande. They get tattoos of the, each other and then yep. they break up. Yeah. Um. I, What's the? I've wrung out the towel of how much I can possibly care about this. Yeah, what, please what do we do punish now? these fools. Uh, she needs to dump him and like just date someone who is hotter. And he. I think they should make a movie like from Justin to Kelly. They should be contractually <laughs> obliged to like make a movie like that, but, and then they split up. <laughs> like just like they're gross like middle school yeah like, they do like a dance number like dark fantasy yeah. yeah they do like a like because what you were saying and you did say this sounded like what what they're saying sounds like the twilight dialogue yeah it's just very like even a lot of the photos they're taking <laughs> exactly. also, get the get the dog oh, off the screen <laughs> my bad 
Yeah. Well, it's not a big she's deal. She's too hot to act like this. Like this this is like what ugly chicks have to do. Like stop like lowering Jesus. stop lowering yourself to impress this guy. Like you can do so much better. Like Stacy should never date these kind of guys. Like honestly, all you like guys know he was he, he has a bunch of tweets talking about how he wants to bang like 14 year olds. Like like why like She's a Stacy, he's a Melvin. Yeah, like she, she was a Stacy. He was a Melvin. Can I make it any more obvious? I'm just going to say it. Avril Lavigne, more punk rock than him. Or at least the Avril. Yeah, like, I would that agree. Was, hey, at least the she... Avril like, that wasn't replaced. Like the original one. Well, let's, you... let's move on to another story, though, here. Let's um, just finish off with this one. This is yeah, short. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got it. We got to watch this. this so is... I, I, want, I just want to preface this really quick by saying that uh, this story comes to us from Barstool Sports. America is number one leading news story. So uh, lo- news source. Barstool Sports reports on a Barstool Sports employee harassing John Cusack at a White Sox game. So without further ado, let's have a and look it's, at it's, that. It's, it's like Girls literally... don't care about sports. We don't care about We Megan just listen Fox, to that fucking... But we did anyways. So now you get to watch people yell about the White Sox. And I don't even give a shit about sports either. I don't but either. now we have to watch this I'm because... I'm wearing this hat as a joke. It's important... To our culture here in Neo Chicago, so let's watch the I'm video. I'm hitting here. play okay. now. Okay. He says something to John Cusack. It's called bandwagoning. And now John Cusack gets in his face. John Cusack's about seven feet tall. This guy about four foot nine. Yeah. Why are they getting mad? Because John I'll Cusack... I'll add the context. We'll, okay. we'll talk about it. I don't know any of these. They're quizzing each other on sport. This is like when you see when you see someone wearing a Nirvana t-shirt. Like, what is your favorite album? Right, right. Oh, okay. Thanks for explaining it in terms yeah, yeah, yeah. for, like, women. <laughs> so he says... Let me pause this real quick. He says... Half the fun of being a sports fan is being miserable. You can't just go back and forth. <laughs> but that doesn't count. You can't do that. That's like that's the best part of this guy's a big toddler. Seriously. We'll have to agree to disagree. Agree to disagree, I guess, but I think it's good. You have to look at stakes. This uh, was imagine his. Imagine gatekeeping sports. sports. The most this normie man. shit ever. So the whole thing was that. So John Cusack was uh, supporting the Cubs when they were in the World Series, a big proponent of that. And then, of course, uh, the White Sox are their bitter rivals, the two Chicago baseball teams. And the two genders. Th- <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> the much the, uh, the much needed soy face there. Thank you for that, Nico. Uh, but so then now the, I, I, I think the White Sox are I, 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 I'm not a, I'm they were not, like not in a, a sports kind. Of I'm, I'm keeping I keeping up with and we're not. But we're I keep trying up with to it. contextualize because the. The video was what's important because yeah, the video is so th- what, what went viral. And I got to say, like, I know these barstool sports guys are like big men about campus because yeah, yeah. they're probably all like. Aren't they all like douchebag rapists? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I always uh, got like they're like douchebag date rapists. But that was like yeah. pathetic watching this dude like quiver and cower like and he was playing it off like, oh, I really got John Cusack angry. And it's like, I would because- not. Have because shown anybody that video. You're a large... I would not have either. That was <laughs> embarrassing. He yeah. He paraded around his embarrassment. There's a bunch of people that are responding to this being like, oh, well, John Cusack is a bad... Like, who cares? Who cares about John Cusack? It's like the, the, the shit about, like, when the whole, like, Steven Crowder and Ethan... Uh, what's his name? Klein. Ethan Klein went about and people are like, well, fuck Ethan. It's like, nobody cares about Ethan. No. You watched a grown man quiver. At the sight of another grown man, this was the same thing. Why yeah. would you put this out here? This large toddler mm-hmm. is like, I'm going to, huh, you're a fair weather fan. He gets in his face and he's like, I do, uh, it's, uh, it's bullshit, man. It's, you can't, you're you can't a fair like, weather fan. You yes. can't like both yes. teams. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because I'm that, miserable. Why, why has nobody made that meme with uh, John Cusack as the yes guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you're fair with your and he's like, and he's like crying in red. You can't just support both teams. It's like, yes, I can. Yes, yes. That's John. how I feel. I yeah. feel like it's. Funny. I, I can't tell if I'm uh, perpendicular to the camera. Wait, wait, you wait, are. Wait, you are. Wait, you're good. Wait, wait, wait. You're good. There we go. You're good. No, you can't just be a fair with your fan. No, you have to only pick one. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what it would look like. Anyway, um <sighs> Okay. Yeah. Punishment is and so uh, so now like John Cusack's like fuck this guy. He was just trying to get like whatever. He was trying to get his clout points. Here you go. You're trending. Is your and, fucking reticle? And this guy is like retweeting all these memes of like oh eight worst John Cusack movies, and it's like no one likes that John Cusack. Embarrassing. What's John Cusack even? Well, I don't know. A bunch uh, of eighties movies. Uh, High oh, Fidelity. I never uh, seen that. Sixteen Candles. I, oh, I like that movie. Just a bunch of shit like that. Oh, like okay. a bunch of John Hughes movies. Like, whatever. Oh. Who cares? Oh, okay. That, okay. So. But the point is, like, this this bar stool shit is so fucking... I made, like, a TikTok video trying to make fun of this video, and it got immediately... It got immediately flagged and pulled down and uh, treated as bullying and, and harassment. <laughs> Rightfully and, so. And I got suspended him alone. for 24 hours. He's clearly very vulnerable if, pathetic man. if i would have walked up to him on the street and said the things that i said in the video it would have been one thing but because i made a tiktok video and a couple of the words caught the algorithm i yeah. i did like one of those things where it was like here's my audition reel for barstool sports please can you guys can you guys hire me I'm a dumb fucking idiot too. I want to be on your guys's show. You could have just been like, I have that Rahipnol plug, and they'd be like hired. At least that's the vibe I, I got. did. I did a whole a whole ass video and it just got pulled down immediately. So what's the punishment here? Uh I don't this guy has to uh go to timeout. He needs his binky yeah. and his rattler. <laughs> Perhaps a warm <laughs> bottle of milk, I might add. Uh, because these guys are always complaining that the cancel police are after him. Shut the fuck also, up. Also, he he brought uh, he went 100 percent brought it on himself every step he, of the way. You nobody posted was, the video. Yeah, no nobody one was made filming him post him. the video. It's like, vile. And he gave his employers a video and they reported on it. <laughs> they were probably just like, dude, he looks like such a douchebag. Wouldn't it be funny if we posted this? Yeah, maybe he's at the guy in the office nobody likes but did you know that barstool sports made a podcast that was just titled the n-word what, <laughs> what? it's just out there it's no! on itunes to this no! day it's just called the the n-word they're still paying for the <laughs> hosting fees it's still up that's insane <laughs> why would you uh oh my god one of the main guys did blackface in like 2018 that's that sounds about right i, I think i heard that just, <laughs> Let's move on to something nice, <laughs> something swell, something good. Thought Cop's key to the city, key to Neo Chicago. Uh, Let's give it up, everybody. Uh, my key to the city this week goes to Victoria Vincent. Uh, she's a cartoonist. I discovered uh -huh. her work this week. Um, she does a lot of really cool, uh, really unique uh, YouTube animations. I feel like you would actually like them a lot, Grant. It seems like oh, right yeah. up your alley. Uh, I'll show them to you some other time when we have, we're not pressed for time, but... She got a show of hers greenlit on Fox recently, oh, nice. which I think is exciting because uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, animation. This animation. Looks this looks good. Yeah, I'm like, a huge fan the of animation. One thing I gotta say, there's yeah. so much garbage looking like, animation. Yes, like, exactly, like, exactly. In, in a world full of like you know Seth MacFarlane's students of animation, you know what it reminds me of? We have something of? cool and interesting. It reminds me of the movie Mind Game, the Masaki Yuasa one. I, I wouldn't be surprised because there does like I some of the stuff you I might watched have shown was, me some of this before. I, I if be I if I've seen it before, I don't remember because uh, I, I just went down the rabbit hey, hole. Hey, in like, a world this week. full of Ricks and Mortys, be uh Victoria. Yeah. That's what I gotta yeah. say. Yeah, good stuff. Girls rock. Speaking of girls rocking, Nico, what's your uh, key to the city? Oh, okay. So I going on the TikTok and usually get pissed off, but I found like this this account by this girl named Emily Mariko. And she her videos are just so nice. It's just she's rich. She's definitely like her parents are rich and she lives in San Francisco with her rich boyfriend or rich fiance, and they're rich, but like, let me just post in the podcast chat this like video of her making the salmon rice bowl. And it's like, I. Why don't you give me that and then I can put I that posted on the. It in, I posted it in the thing. Oh, okay. I got okay. it. Okay. Like, Grant or Kevin, you got to look. So she's real. Well, it'll, she, I'm going to put it on the screen yeah, so oh, that yeah, the viewers okay. at home also. Yeah. yeah so the viewers at home. Like, it. like the food looks really good. And like, you know, her house is so clean and she's really skinny. And. And the food, and she like I don't know. It's just look. This is just leftovers. Like she makes leftovers. Can you make leftovers. a big grant? What? Can you make a big? 
Uh, no, I can't. Oh, okay. Swick will do like, it in look, post. Look, this is game changing. She put an ice cube on the rice so that it steams and it doesn't taste like shit when you microwave it. Oh. Fucking genius. That is game changing. Yeah. Like, this looks so good and appetizing. Like, and then the sea, she comes with the fucking seaweed. Ice cube mukbang. Like, like, doesn't that look so delicious? And like, her videos are I, all like that. I hate how she eats. She's enjoying her food. She's being mindful of her food. She, she needs has, to shut she the has, fuck up. She has the carbs. She has the protein. She has the vegetables. It, she, you don't she, understand. She made a little you face you, you when she understand. was chewing. This is, this, is, this is for girls. This is I'm bringing you the female perspective. And women want this fucking salmon rice bowl so we can be skinny like this bitch. Skinny and rich. You know, I'm a nutrition coach. If anybody uh, well, All women know is hire, uh, I, eat ice cube. And uh, charge their phone and lie. It's true. <laughs> uh, Grant, true. what's your what's your key to the city? <laughs> My key to the city this week. Uh, I've known about this for a while, but every once in a while, it just still cracks me up. <laughs> my <laughs> my key to the city goes to the Dave Rubin subreddit, which <laughs> is all like most subreddits on Reddit are usually pretty highly policed, and they're usually fan clubs. And this started off as a fan club, but Dave Rubin's such like a fucking nutcase that everybody like it's just hate content. It's <laughs> bullying hate <laughs> content towards this one guy that and rocks. No one can get it under control. That's funny. And so people find the subreddit all the time and they're like, what the fuck is this? So this guy says, what brought me here is uh, the new ruling by the governor of Texas. Private companies can't enforce vaccine mandates. Not going into politics, but I came to see like what Dave's opinion was, and I see most of the top posts are against him. Uh, I gotta say, I used to love him for being a, quote, true centrist. I used to tell my mates about him and to watch his podcast, Ooh. but he's turned into such a tool. He's completely de delusional, an Alex Jones-style egoist who just lands on the political right of every argument, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. He's like, so what? what's... Like, my immediate impression of this sub is that some of you have had similar experiences with them. Like, what's the deal? Yeah. And every single comment, every <laughs> single comment on the post is, our brains are still in recovery mode from taking in so many high-level Ruben ideas. Oh, my God. Not people. <laughs> high-level Ruben ideas. That's another, a good one. Another guy goes, is Ruben a person? Because we don't like talking about people. We're talking about ideas. Uh <laughs> Someone else says, we are just interested in ideas. This is the <laughs> entire subreddit. This is, I, lo I love when a subreddit becomes a hate subreddit. Like um, the Opie and Anthony one is just like oh, calling yeah, that's Opie another great like a one, fat yeah. retard and then saying, I, I miss Patrice O'Neill. Why did it, why, I wish it was Opie who died instead of him. Right. I love when a subreddit turns against like well, the topic. It's, it's funny for that one too because they started off hating Opie because he was the bad guy in like the split up and now they just hate everyone. They're just like, Anthony's a fucking racist. Like, Jesus. We hate Jim Norton. He's a fucking tool. Like they only they like hate Patrice O'Neill. They, they only <laughs> like Patrice, and they only like him because he died. That's yeah, he didn't it. have a chance to live long enough to become a villain. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, li that's literally <laughs> of the Opie Anthony verse is like either die hero, live long enough to be exactly a villain. Right. And this is happening to him. Uh, before we get to our final <laughs> segment of the show here, which is our listener voicemails, uh, Nico, I want you to go ahead. And plug everything you got. Okay, so I have Twitter, which is my mo main source of uh, posting. It's Goth John Benet. Um, I post uh, really funny stuff, like um, like I I was like, because I've been watching Sopranos. Sorry to bring it up again, but I was like, I like was singing like, woke up this morning, ate myself some cum, and then my mom like texts me and she's like, you need to stop posting disgusting things on the internet. I'm like, mom, that was the breaking point for her. <laughs> yeah but it's like of clearly, everything you've ever posted yeah we're, it's like i think that's what it was because i was thinking like i didn't post anything bad on instagram which is uh uh goth nico the only bad thing i posted was like evil bill clinton be like i fucked her yeah and you keep the you keep the offensive stuff to close friends on yeah. your stories I it's not offensive it's just and like, by offensive i mean like anything that involves like weed weed or, or like 
fucked up fetish stuff. Yeah. Bodily Flu- fluids. Bodily fluids or something. Anything illegal. So give, give Nico a follow on Instagram and maybe you'll be a close friend. Maybe you won't. Probably won't. Uh, but um, regardless. What else? I also have my art one, Goth Nico Arts. I have a poster recently. I might start again. Yeah. Kind of had an art block. If anyone wants to get commissions from me, maybe that'll, maybe then I'll start drawing again mm, for money. Yeah. Best, uh, best the way to clear up an art block. Cha-ching. Yeah, literally. Um, what else? Incentives um, are important. Yeah, and then, you know, I do the podcast, uh, Dark Side Jills, pay two bucks a month, patreon.com slash stereos to hear me and my friend Sarancha. Um, screaming in a feminine manner about things like you know music and anime and like funny things we find cringe on the internet yeah yeah that wasn't really that much Uh, we talked a little bit about cringe this one but it was mostly like the arts yeah a wide array of topics yeah we're like renaissance thinkers you're uh polymaths is what they call those <laughs> yeah <laughs> speaking of cha-ching cha-ching support you can support us over at patreon.com slash thought cops uh for two bucks a month you get access to our bonus episodes fire bros we like to uh re- we don't like to we'd love to review different pieces of media every month or so mm-hmm. and we got one coming up soon we're gonna be recording soon i'm committing us to it now and uh, you can also hang out in the live chat here for $5 a month, plus the bonus content. And then for $10 a month, you get access to our ride-along episodes. You give us a prompt. We'll talk about it. It's a lot of fun. You get access to early look at the videos we post on our YouTube channel, like our re-educationing series, and all kinds of other crazy stuff. I've written two new ones. Ooh. Or at least I'm, I'm at the tail end of writing the second one. I'm just going to keep writing. I, I don't even have to film them. I'm just going to write them. I'm going to throw them out. Yeah. So throw a, any money helps us out a lot. Helps the show be as uh, good as it can be. And we're trying to spruce up the studio a little more. Yeah. Too, look at so, us here. Yeah. And I also want to give a shout out. We got two new patrons this week. Uh, shout out to FD and Craig W. Thank you so much for the uh, patronage. Yeah. Patreon.com slash thought cops. And if you want to support the show for free, it's as simple as leaving us a voicemail. Give us a call, 312-788-7361. Or you can always send us an audio file to thoughtcopspodcast at gmail.com. Hit it. Hey there, Thought Cops. It's me, your Twitch channel. <laughs> I was just kind of hanging out here waiting for someone to log in and maybe boot up some Mario. Oh my god. Or some Donkey Kong. I want to, okay. Or we'll Earthbound. <laughs> or Metroid. Okay. It's not gonna, it's He's going to keep it's not, going. It's not going to be Earthbound. Kevin just beat it. True, again. true, yeah. You guys just don't use me enough. I I want to bring joy to the masses, especially when Grant plays a Mario. That's my favorite. Why is Mr. Why Blanket you guys our Twitch log channel? In and I don't play? Know. When's the next time you're going to stream? Thank you, Mr. Plinkett. I really Plinkett. like to know. Anyways, it's me, your Twitch channel. You know where to find You've me. you established this. Or maybe you don't. Wow. wow I'm, I'm I, just so lonely. <laughs> I, can't, Jesus. I can't believe Mr. Plinkett himself called us. Wow. And our channel gained sentience. That's amazing. <sighs> I feel sad now. I do feel, I feel a little bit guilty. Bad, yeah. yeah, why aren't you gaming? I've been trying to think of like one time a week that I can do it. Because I feel like... I know we talked about like, oh, we'll do it whenever we sort of feel like it. I don't feel like doing anything ever because I have horrendous depression all my life. I've always had it. It won't go away. I don't want it to go away. I don't care about it, but I I don't want to do it. And so just people just start listing off days. The more you ask, the less it's going to happen. No, 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 no. The more you ask, bother me about it all the time and tell me a day, just say Wednesday and I'll fucking do Wednesday. That's oh. all I got to do. Oh, I'm like the opposite. The more someone tells me to do something, I'm like, I'm not going to do it. Fuck I you. write it in a calendar and I just, I got to fucking do it. I got to do it. That's I have, it. I've, I've got, it. I've got a couple games actually on my list that I do want to stream soon. So I do, yeah. aren't you going to do WarioWare? Uh, that, yeah, actually I didn't even think about that, but yeah, no, I did. I did stream WarioWare for like three or four hours one night. Yeah. Well, maybe I was busy. I'm 
I've been I'm busy sometimes. I was yeah, I was it was it was that, and I think we were watching like the old commercials as well. <laughs> yeah, um, on you, which is a lot of fun. We, yeah, it's not man. just games, folks. twitchtv slash Give yeah. let let the channel give the channel a little bit of a uh, love. Like you heard how how down they sounded. Go yeah. ahead and give yeah. us a follow. Or maybe <laughs> subscribe, and it'll in, uh, entice us to come back as well. I'm I'm gonna try and do just one day a week. Okay. Yeah, someone hold me to that. Okay. I'll- all right. Wait, give me the fucking card. Yeah, just hold that there, and I'm going to play the next voicemail. Hey, it's your boy, Brandon Kirkman. Uh, I'm that? calling from a very <laughs> shady bathroom with bad reception, so we'll see how this goes. But I heard you had me go on. True. Always a huge fan. Uh, I wanted to ask a very serious question. Please, no joke answers. But what As character in media or animation do you feel like is underrepresented by male pregnation? <laughs> Uh, you know, I feel like uh, you got your Shreks and you got your your Sonics that are always getting pregnant. But like, what what cartoon male character would you like to see pregnant more? Vegeta. Uh, Kevin and uh, and Grant can answer as well. I'll allow it. Vegeta. Uh, anyway, it's always going to be Vegeta. Let's hear him out. Valid. Um, it's it has to be Vegeta. Wait. Oh, that oh, was no, it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I, like I said, like 50 times, it's Vegeta. Vegeta and Preg is literally like, there's like, you know, the Mona Lisa, there's Michelangelo's David, there's uh, the pregnant Vegeta that says Happy Labor Day by uh, Cowcat44. Um, brilliant. Brilliant. Mm, brilliant. My answer is Peter Griffin. I want to see if he'll pop out a nice yeah, Stewie. That was my answer, too. <laughs> Maybe, you know, op, you know, a Stewie that doesn't want to kill Lois. <laughs> remember when remember when Peter Griffin <laughs> breastfed Stewie in an episode <laughs> I do yes that was actually pretty funny like, yeah he had like he the like, fucking cube hair he gagged mouth. on a hair <laughs> uh, uh, uh. this is uh, the, the family guy fan podcast and as we always go to this point it's my fault I want to see I want to see uh, <laughs> I want to see Bart Simpson get pregnant with a cow Oh boy! <laughs> Don't ha- I'm having a cow, man. I'm a hypocrite, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, he gets there's... pregnant with his own shorts. We got, there's a <laughs> 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 no for real. You guys got to do Fire Bros on like this like hour long Family Guy episode where he's in therapy and this and yeah. Oh, I, no. I read. A, I was bored at work and I was reading the Family I'm done Guy. Doing wiki. Fire Bro episodes of single episodes. No, there's, of Family I think Guy. there's. It's an hour long, so it's it's over an hour long. It's because it was aired uninterrupted on television. It was over wow. an hour. I know they apparently they marketed it as a big deal. It's like first time ever uninterrupted, no commercials. And this was like two years ago. That too. is huge. <laughs> So we got to watch this. It sounds awful. I'll watch it regardless. Fuck it. I don't care. Let's wrap the show up. <laughs> that was Thank all the you. listener voicemails. Give us a call of your own 312-788-7361 or send an audio file to thoughtcopspodcast at gmail.com. Nico, thank you so much for coming Always back on the pleasure. show. Hey, thank you for having me. Also, nice apartment, by the way. Thank you. It's very nice. I pay money for it. We all do yeah. for living. For now. If we we all do. Mm. And if you want to help us pay the money that we need to live, uh, patreon.com slash thought cops. Thank you all for listening. Thank you for sticking around. We'll see you next time. Bye. See you, Space Cop. Zap. Zap.